Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel Spin Easy. So today I'm going to show you how to add a simple scalp border to the edge of a project. So let's get started. You will need a project to put the scalped edge on, yarn to use for the scalped edge, a crochet hook, I'll be using a 5mm hook, a sewing needle, and scissors. So to show you how to do the scalped edge, I made this grainy square that has three rows. There will be a sample for how to do the scalped edge. So to start, we're going to take our crochet hook and insert into any chain that you like, but I'm going to insert right here. So I'm going to insert and then wrap the yarn that I'm using around the hook and pull through. Then I'm going to make a knot so that the yarn is secure to the granny square. Then I'm going to insert into the same place where we attach the yarn, then yarn over and come out so that this gets the loop back on our hook. Then we're going to chain one and start our single crochet that's going to go all the way around the granny square. So to do the single crochet, we're going to insert in between the double crochet. So our first single crochet will go in between these two. So we're going to insert in between, yarn over, and come out. This gets two loops on the hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So the next place for our single crochet is going to be in this hole. So we insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And then it just continues going into the spaces of the double crochet. So we're going to insert into this hole, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. And again, we insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So they'll just continue in the same way, doing one single crochet into these holes and doing a single crochet between each of the double crochet. And then when you get to the corners, do a three single crochet. So you can pause your video and I'll meet you back around. So now I've gone all the way back around and I've stopped here. So I need to do my three single crochet into this corner. So we insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, and pull through two. So that's two and three. And then we have to do the final one in between here. Then we're going to slip stitch, insert, yarn over, come out, and pull through. And then I'm going to fasten it off. So I'm going to chain one and pull and then cut with my scissors. So we've just finished our single crochet all the way around the granny square which serves as a base for the scalped edge that we're going to make. So we're going to start by inserting into the second single crochet of this corner. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this is the first single crochet, this is the second, and this is the third. So there's one and two, and I'm going to insert, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull, and make a knot. Then I'm going to insert, yarn over, and come out. So I'm just starting here because I think it will be easier when doing the scallops, but you can start anywhere that you like. So we've started in this corner, and now we're going to skip the first single crochet and insert into the next. So we're going to skip this next one and insert into the one after. So we skip and insert here. And we're going to do five double crochet into it. So we skip and insert. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out. So we have three loops on the hook. Then we yarn over and pull through only the first two, leaving two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. So that's one, we have two, again we yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's three, we yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So right now we have one, two, three, and four, and we have to do the fifth. So we've completed our five double crochet into the same hole or stitch. And then we're going to skip the next stitch, which is this one, and we're going to insert into the next one. So we skip and insert. We're going to do a slip stitch. So we insert, 
yarn over, come out, sweep two loops, and then pull through. So we just completed our first scallop. So that's one. And so the pattern for it is you start at one place, then you skip the next single crochet and do five double crochet into the one after. So you start here, skip, and then do five double crochet. Then you skip the next one and slip stitch into the one after. So we're gonna repeat the same thing. So we're starting here, and we're gonna skip this next single crochet and do five double crochet into this one. So you skip, yarn over, insert into the one after, yarn over, come out. Then we yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So that's one, and we're going to continue until we have five double crochet. So now we have our five, we're going to skip the next single crochet and insert into this one and do a slip stitch. So we skip and then we slip stitch. So we'll do one more. So we started here and we're going to skip this next one and do five double crochet into this one. So we skip, yarn over, insert, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two and do double crochet until we have five into the same hole. So we have our five, and then we're gonna skip the next one and slip stitch into the one after. So we insert, yarn over, come out, and pull through. So we've done three scallops, and you can continue all the way around until you've done all of them. And so again, the pattern is you start in one stitch, you skip the next one, and do five double crochet into the one after. Then you skip one, and slip stitch into the one afterwards. So you can pause your video and continue all the way around. So I've gone all the way back around, and I have my last five double crochet. So I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch that I have to. So you've done the slip stitch, and then to connect it with what I've done earlier, I'm just going to do another slip stitch into the work I've already done, just to make sure that it's secure and attached. Then I'm gonna fasten off, so I'm gonna chain one, pull, and cut with my scissors, then pull the yarn. So there you go, now we've added a scalloped edge to a granny square. So now you can finish it off by weaving in the ends. Then I also wanted to show you a project that has the scalloped edge on it. So I've already joined some of these squares together, and only on this square I've done the scalloped edge. So this is what it will look like with a blanket. Then I also decided not to do it on this side, just to show you how it adds a lot of detail to a project that you're working on. So it looks a lot better and nicer when you have an edge on it. Then you can also look at the side without it. So here it is without, and then here it is with the edge. It also looks a lot more put together and generally nicer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below, and I'll see you next week. Bye!